Today, we are diving deep into the never-ending feud between the Great American Family and the Hallmark Channel. But before getting into the details, let's take a look at where it all started. George Zerolitis, the VP of Network Programming for Hallmark, spilled the tea in 2020. He said diversity and inclusion were their jam, and hinted at some LGBTQ storylines in the pipeline. Nice, right? But then, the plot twist that we did not see coming, the CEO Bill Abbott hit the exit door. Why? Well, he didn't agree with Hallmark's new direction, so he did what any rebel would do, joined forces with the competition GAC Media, aka Great American Media. But here's what he's had to say about his former company. Be blessed with the opportunity to run the organization and, and uh, at Crown Media, which is the entertainment division of Hallmark. And so did that for 11 years. And, and Fast forward and ABOT then becomes the CEO at Great American Family. The guy meant business. He pretty much started a talent poaching party and got plenty of Hallmark actors to switch sides. And guess who RSVP'd? None other than Hallmark's golden girl, Candace Cameron Bure. If you're watching TV and it's creating a lot of anxiety for you, then uh, you know that's probably not going to be a good way to begin to get some rest. And so the, the overall experience is very, very important to us. And we've learned over time that it's needed and appreciated deeply. Right. Then came the wave. Danica McKellar, Jen Lilly, Jessica Lowndes, Cameron Matheson, and more all jumped on the GAF ship. Bill spilled the beans in the interview, reminiscing about the good old Hallmark days. You know, the channel where you turned on the TV and you got exactly what you signed up for. No surprises, family entertainment. But, Bill thought, hey, that's missing now. Networks are all over the place. He wanted to bring back that feel-good vibe. Now let's talk about the stars at GAF. Abbott was not just putting together a bunch of talented actors. He was forming a dream team of good people. These were not just wizards on screen. They were out there doing charity, being role models, and standing for faith, family, and country. It was like a powerhouse of goodness. Now, shift gears. Imagine Hallmark during the festive season, the undisputed ruler spreading holiday cheer. But wait for it. Things took a wild turn. The holiday vibe at Hallmark turned into a stress fest. Why? Because the GAC family was on a mission to steal the Christmas viewership crown. It's not just a festive face-off, it's a full-blown Jingle Bell showdown. The story unfolds with stars and a surprising twist in the feel-good entertainment universe. The Yuletide showdown kicked off when GAF snagged some serious Christmas royalty. In the corner, we had Danica McKellar and Trevor Donovan making the leap in October 2021. And just when you thought the festive spirit couldn't get any bigger, the big guns arrived in April 2022. Enter Candace Cameron Bure, the queen of Hallmark movies with more than 25 movies in her sleigh. But this time, she wasn't just acting, she was wearing the producer's hat too. Fast forward to October 22's and GAF dropped a Christmas bombshell, 18 original holiday movies. Titles like Destined at Christmas, Catering Christmas, and A Royal Christmas on Ice were ready to deck the halls. The holiday spirit was on overdrive, and GAF was ready to make a jingle bell splash. But here comes the plot twist. Right after the big reveal, Beret made waves by announcing that her new network wouldn't be featuring same-sex couples in its Christmas movies. Talk about stirring the pot in the Christmas village. Now, let's zoom out a bit and take a look at what the great American family is all about. Cooked up by the masterminds at JC Media, led by the maestro himself, former Hallmark honcho Bill Abbott. They had a mission, to create a haven for family-friendly content. GAC family kicked off with a festive bang, dropping original Christmas hits like My Angel's Christmas List and A Lot Like Christmas. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Are you supposed to yell timber when you chop down a tree? Nobody really does that. They even snagged When Hope Calls, a spinoff of Hallmark's When Calls the Heart, for a second season. And as if that wasn't enough, they went and gave Ride TV a makeover, renaming it GA Key Living, and injecting some unscripted lifestyle goodness into the mix. So back in 2021, when GAC Family rebranded into Great American Family, it caught everyone's attention. Now, GAC wasn't just any channel, it has some Trump connections, and seemed to be setting itself up as the traditional values network, the alternative for those who found Hallmark a bit too daring. But the approach to diversity wasn't exactly sprinting. It was more of a very slow and cautious stroll. Now, here's where the story gets a revamp. July 2022 rolls in, and boom, GAC Family and GAC Living 
get a glow up, transforming into great American family and great American living. According to Abbott, it was all about aligning with the grand vision under the new great American media umbrella. Critics pointed out that their programming was like a hallmark carbon copy, vanilla, holiday-centric, and predominantly led by white characters. The mission statement from GAC Media spoke of celebrating American traditions with family-friendly entertainment, tugging at the heartstrings of Americana. Abbott, in his press releases, promised safe and entertaining storytelling. Here's where it gets tricky. The use of keywords like American culture and heritage sparked suspicions that GAF was trying to ride the MAGA wave at the time especially when backed by a Trump-supporting investor group and led by a man who left Hallmark amid a controversy involving gay representation. But hold the remote. No evidence yet that GAF was going full-on MAGA, unlike news networks such as Newsmax or OAN. In fact, their content seemed more like a Hallmark doppelganger with former Hallmark actors on their payroll. The real plot twist? Abbott was recreating the Hallmark magic at the exact moment Hallmark was gearing up for a diversity evolution. Wanya Lucas, a black woman, took the CEO throne at Hallmark, signifying a loud push towards inclusivity. The once untouched snow globe of Hallmark's magic was witnessing a star-studded exodus, leaving fans wide-eyed and wondering, what's happened to the magic? And then this Hallmark actress dropped a bombshell you won't believe. Picture this. Hillary Burton, a familiar face in the Hallmark tapestry for six years, decided to exit stage left in 2019. The reason? A clash over the casting, with Burton advocating for an array of characters that reflect the true diversity of the audience. The backstage drama unfolded on Twitter, where Burton revealed Hallmark's stark ultimatum of take it or leave it, when faced with her plea for LGBTQ representation and a more inclusive cast. But wait, there's more actress drama. Enter Lori Loughlin, the iconic Aunt Becky. Her exit from the Hallmark scene wasn't a voluntary curtain call. It was prompted by a real-life scandal, a college admission saga that rocked the tabloids. Yet, Loughlin found herself a new leading role on G.A.S.K. Family's platform with When Hope Calls. It seems every scandal in Hallmark has its silver lining on G.A.C.'s stage. Then in 2021, when Danica McKellar, a regular in Hallmark's festive lineup decided to take a leap of faith, finding a kindred spirit in former Hallmark CEO Bill Abbott, now steering the ship at GAC Family. It's a move that echoes the changing dynamics of the festive TV landscape. Just look at her slay her first debut with her new network in the movie The Winter Palace. They need a winter caretaker to fill in. Who goes there? Hello. So he's really a prince, huh? For a short time, anyway. Next week he'll be king. Henry seems to have lost his focus. And what's a holiday narrative without a heartthrob? Trevor Donovan, known for charming Hallmark audiences, decided to hang his mistletoe on the rival network as well in 2021. With an exclusive two-year deal, Donovan is rewriting the script of his Hallmark charm with GAC's holiday enchantment. Then, Jen Lilly, a soap opera star turned Hallmark luminary, also took a leap to the other side. Her excitement about newfound creative freedom and intriguing characters, adding an unexpected twist to her career. Here's a glimpse of her hosting the Great American Christmas Celebration. Hey everyone, I'm Jen Lilly, and I am thrilled to invite you to join us for the first ever Great American Christmas Celebration. But the surprises don't end there. Jessica Lowndes, once a familiar face in Hallmark projects, embarked on a multi-talent journey by signing a four-movie deal with GAC Family. It's a script flip that showcases her versatility as an actor, writer, director, and producer on a whole new stage. As we explore the star-studded exodus, Daniel Lissing, once the heartthrob of When Calls the Heart, embraced GAC's Christmas offerings post Jack's exit in 2021. With no regrets, Lissing's new ventures include shows like The Cleaning Lady and SWAT, proving that every exit is an entrance into a new, unexpected adventure. And then there's Jesse Metcalf, bidding adieu to Chesapeake Shores in 2021 for a cinematic skyline. Two fortress thrillers later, he's keeping the door open for a potential Chesapeake comeback, leaving fans on the edge of their seats, hoping for a surprising twist in the tale. Needing to move on from their losses, Hallmark focused on their brand new Christmas movies. We're talking My Grown Up Christmas List, Campfire Christmas, and Christmas in Toyland. They hit us with the good stuff, and they didn't hold back. Hallmark amped up their Christmas in July, and we were there for it. GAC had its own game plan. 
They didn't launch any new movies. Instead, they hit rewind and gave us encore presentations of their previous hits. Hey, we weren't complaining. A good Christmas movie is a good Christmas movie, no matter how many times you've seen it. But let's be real, GAC seemed to be taking a page from Hallmark's playbook with this whole Christmas in July thing. And speaking of playbook, Jen Lilly, the Hallmark escapee, took the stage as the host for GAT's festive fiesta. It was like she was the referee in this epic feel-good network rivalry. But hold on, there was a plot twist. GAC threw it back with an encore screening of one of Jen Lilly's first Christmas movies, Royally Wrapped for Christmas. Talk about a full circle moment. So, who won this battle of the holiday networks? Was it Hallmark or Great American Family? Whether you're Team Hallmark or All In for GAF, the Christmas showdown is real. Who's stealing the show? Drop your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to hit subscribe for more holiday drama updates. Tis the season for entertainment battles and we've got front row seats. Until next time, happy holidays and happy watching.